Thailand. Hi, my name is Lisa. This is Threshold in China, a segment that gives you a taste of the future before it actually happens. We are going to talk about emerging technologies that have life-changing potentials and assess their readiness for mass deployment. Today, we're going to talk about how AI could help medicine discovery. AI or artificial intelligence is now everywhere. AI programming, AI chess player, AI news anchors, AI cars, AI generated content, and chatbot. Now AI is starting to make a huge impact on medicine discovery. It could help scientists to predict which chemicals are most promising to treat a specific disease and their potential impact on the proteins in our body. This could make medicine discovery a lot more efficient. A team of scientists from the Chinese Academy of Science in Shanghai has applied AI in an innovative way to push the boundaries of medicine discovery. Hopefully, this could shorten the lengthy period, as well as reduce the cost and, most importantly, cut the price of the medicine and make the cure more affordable to everyone. Living in the post-pandemic world, I think this is good news for all of us. Well, what are they actually doing? Let me briefly explain. When using AI, you need to get two things right. Choose the right algorithm for the problem you're dealing with and feed it with a huge amount of quality data. Let's start with algorithm. Drug chemicals work by interacting with the proteins in our body whether these type of protein are on the healthy cells or tumor cells. So a crucial step in medicine discovery is to find a candidate's chemical with the desirable interaction. Once we found these chemicals, we need to know what exactly they could do to the proteins, and specifically which parts of the proteins the chemicals are going to bind with. It is a lot like a key, that's the chemical and the lock, which is the protein. You fuse them together to get a reaction. To understand what is going on with our chemicals and the proteins, we need to know the structure of the proteins, and preferably in fine detail. And there's the problem. The structure of the protein is always highly complicated and in several dimensions. The basic dimension is the sequence of amino acid, which is what the protein is made out of, but it is not a straight line. They tend to twist and turn and fold into higher dimensional structures. For most of the known proteins, we only know their sequence of amino acids, but that's far from enough, and this is where the Shanghai team led by Jiang Hualiang comes into the picture. Now, before we go on, I need to introduce something called a transformer. It is a type of AI algorithm commonly used in understanding texts. It can learn context and guess the meaning by tracking relationships between words in a sentence. Words need to be arranged in a certain sequence to have meaning, and that's a sentence. And likewise, amino acids in a protein need to have a certain sequence to give it a specific structure, and in turn a certain function, such as interacting with chemicals. The transformer can read the sequence and predict the function of the protein, and Jiang's team modifies the transformer to improve the prediction. They call their new brand of algorithm Transformer CPI, which stands for Compound Protein Interaction. They also build new datasets specific for CPI prediction. Well, now we move on to the data. You may have heard this, data is the new oil. AI needs to be fed this kind of oil. The more data there is, the more powerful the machine. But the problem with applying AI in medicine discovery is the amount of useful data is very limited. When collecting data concerning the structure of chemicals, Jiang's team was confronted by the reality that most of the published structure of chemicals are like this. But by AI standard, this kind of structure representation is ambiguous and hence hard to work on. The traditional formula only shows the composition of atoms and their relative position. But to predict the chemical functions, AI needs to know the detailed properties such as bond length, bond angle, and potential influence of neighboring atoms on each other. To overcome this problem, Jiang's team used another type of AI algorithm called Attentive FP. It has an attentive mechanism which allows the method to focus on the most relevant parts of the structure to achieve a better prediction. Compared to other algorithms, attentive FP is more capable of evaluating the impact of neighbor atoms and modeling a wide range of molecular properties involving physical chemistry and physiology. In this way, the formula from patents and other scientific literature accumulated through the last centuries can be automatically converted into something AI could work with and sorted in an online database. And that is available to the public. 
However, the pharma industry is not known for sharing. The data about chemical and physiological properties of each compound are highly valuable assets, and thus well-kept business secrets for pharmaceutical firms. Such knowledge could give them an edge over other competitors. To tackle this issue, Jones and his colleagues tear the page from the banker's book. The finance industry faced the very same dilemma. On the one hand, the ever more powerful algorithm trained with large quantity of data could no doubt benefit the financial institutions when they're trying to use it to predict the market trend. The credit worthiness of certain type of clients or the risk of investment, etc. On the other hand, there are just not enough data openly available, and nobody wants to share it. Then guess what? AI can help to get around that barrier. Specifically, it's something called federated learning. It allows each institution to train the same algorithm on their own server, holding local data samples without exchanging them. Or let's put it this way: they share the algorithm instead of data. The performance of algorithm is greatly improved as a result. Jiang's team has just launched this version of federated learning algorithm for predicting water solubility of compounds. With all these clever and promising techniques, there are still some hurdles to cross before AI could really be the game changer that is hyped. The first is data. As data scientists always say, garbage in, garbage out. If you feed the algorithm with flawed data, you will not get what you want. While the Shanghai team has laid some groundwork in this regard, more is needed. And then there's the question of how to build on the findings of AI. There is still a long way to go after potential targets of chemical reactions are identified, such as how to follow up and verify the findings, convert them into feasible medical options. All right, now is the assessment. Let's go on to the threshold rating. Here in this program, we have a set of criteria to assess the readiness, novelty, and the potential social impact of each technology. When a particular technology scores a three or above in all three dimensions, it reaches the threshold of potential having the substantial near-term real-world influence. The first is readiness. Consider that most of the measures I mentioned have already been applied to actual medicine discovery process. Sometimes jointly with pharmaceutical firm, the readiness is really high. It is a four. Then comes to the novelty criteria. The algorithm being used are adapted from publicly available variants. The improvements are significant. So here's a three. And finally, the ripples. The team has demonstrated creativity when dealing with data storage, which may set a good example and inspire others to follow the lead. That could greatly change the landscape of the industry as the cost of drug discoveries goes down and more players could enter the field. So it is a four. Two fours and a three. It exceeds the threshold. It seems like AI and machine learning will continue to help further drug discovery and manufacturing. And as AI tools become more accessible over the years, the future will be AI enabled. Of course, the future social impact of any technology depends on how it is used, whether to benefit the society or to bring harm. What could you do if you have all the secrets of chemistry at your fingertips? We look forward to hearing your thoughts. Thank you.